Hello there, my name is Will and welcome along to lesson number four of our drum fill concept series. In today's lesson, we're going to be kicking it on further as things are about to get linear. Yes, that's right. Today I want to teach you how you can use your bass drum to make your drum fills sound more tasty by creating what are known as linear drum fills. Now, linear drumming is the concept that there are no two drums being played at the same time. They're being played one after the other. And we're going to introduce that idea into our drum fill concept that we've been looking at in our last few lessons. Quick reminder, that concept is that we're breaking up one bar of 16th notes into four groups of three and one group of four. And today it's the three that really is important because you're going to be learning a pattern that is a rite of passage for every drummer. It is what pepperoni is to pizza. It's the Tony Stark of drum licks, the Zlatan Ibrahimovic of drum fills. It's spicy, it's a little bit flash, and once you do it, you can't ever stop. It's right, left, kick. Now there are a lot of cool ways to play right, left, kick. And once you have it down, it's pretty much scientifically proven you will be addicted to playing that pattern of three. And that's okay. It's gonna make our drum fills sound amazing and there's a reason why everybody wants to learn that particular combination. However, like I say, there's multiple cool ways that you can use it in different ways. So yes, learn in the cool, addictive, sounds amazing, thunderous way over and over again. But also remember that you can use it in an effective musical way as well. Perhaps like the drum fill we're looking at today. So we're gonna bring in our right left kick pattern to our concept of four threes and one group of four. And we are basically gonna play four lots of right left kick. So we're gonna literally just have right left kick, right left kick, right left kick, right left kick. And then our group of four today is just gonna be four single strokes. Right left, right left. So all together we have right left kick, right left kick, right left kick, right left kick, right left, right left. Now if you are a beginner on the drums or perhaps new to playing linear drum fills, when you first start to play that pattern of right left kick, it won't be as easy as it sounds. It is a simple pattern, but so far we've pretty much trained our right foot to only go with our right hand, or if you're left-handed, left-footed, the opposite way around. It wants for that connection to happen. So when you first play right, left, kick, on its own it's fine, but as you start to repeat it, you might find that the bass drum tries to go with your right hand or tries to go with your left hand and you really want to make sure that your three notes are as even as possible. So to begin with, forget the drum fill concept for a second, just practice right left kick over and over again. And perhaps try on the snare, on the toms. Just try and get as comfortable as you can with playing those three notes over and over again and as even as possible. And you'll soon see why that becomes such an addictive pattern to play. But it is important that you can play that pattern evenly. Not fast, evenly. Now, it is a pattern that encourages you to go faster and faster and faster, but do make sure you can play it right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. Over and over again until you have it nice and even. And evenness is the key. And if you're close and you're finding it difficult, you think, oh, I'm almost there, almost there. Push yourself to get there because it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna to totally change how your drum fills sound. So once you have it down, we're gonna bring it into our drum fill. And to begin with, we're just gonna try and play the whole thing on the snare drum. So our four right left kicks, followed by our single strokes of right, left, right, left, all on the snare. Should sound something a little bit like this. And 
now a little bit faster and alongside a groove. So that's our first example. So play that over and over again. And once you've got it, you can then start to perhaps move your hands around the kit. So literally just for each right left kick, just gonna choose a different tom sound. So for the example, I'm gonna go snare, rack tom, snare, floor tom. So I've got right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. And then my one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna bring back in our snare, tom, floor, floor for my single stroke solve the stuff fill. So all together, it should sound something like this. And then a little bit faster with a groove. Now, once you have that down, don't be afraid to move your hands around and see what other kinds of combinations that you can come up with. At the moment, I'm still just keeping my hands together, but just try a few different orders. Here's a few more examples. Now, when we move our hands around at the same time, we get big Phil Collins in the air tonight sort of vibes, which is great, I love that. However, if you separate out your hands, you can get a completely different sound. So this time, I'm gonna do the same drum fill, but my left hand is gonna stay on the snare. My right hand is moving snare, rack tom, snare, floor tom, but my left hand is staying there until I play my one, two, three, four of snare, tom, floor, floor. So nice and slowly, all together, my drum fill now sounds like this. And a little bit quicker. As soon as we start to separate the hands out, things start to sound a lot more exciting. Just the fact that you've got three sounds per group of three, and then you're changing what those threes are every single time, makes the fill sound more interesting and more textured and layered. Okay, same thing, but this time we're gonna move the left hand around the kit. So our right hand is gonna stay on the snare drum, but the left hand, I'm gonna do an order of snare drum, rack tom, hi-hat, rack tom, and then our four singles at the end, snare, tom, floor tom, floor tom stuff to fit in with. So nice and slowly should sound something like this. A 
and fast alongside a groove. I love it, just a little hi-hat on the side, a little there, just a little cheeky, you know. Gotta sometimes have a little bit of a cheeky hi-hat in your drum fills. Okay, so once you have that down, and that one may feel a lot more difficult than moving the right hand around, particularly if you are right-handed, because the left hand is usually a weaker point of our playing, so you might have to spend a little bit longer working out that side of things. But once you do have that down, you can then combine both ideas things start to really open up and become quite exciting because there's so many different combinations that you can put together. And what's brilliant is that the choices that you make are gonna change how your drum fills sound. And your drum fills are gonna sound probably completely different to mine because you get to make different choices. So I love that about this fill because there's just, it's infinite, the amount of different combinations that we could put together. So do make sure you experiment and mess around with them. I will give you an example for you to work on, but as I say, don't be afraid to mess around and move those hands into different places. Okay, so my drum fill that I'm gonna try is I'm gonna, to begin with, gonna play my right left kick all on the snare drum for the first group of three. So I've just got snare, snare, kick. Then I'm gonna move my right hand up to the rack tom and I'm gonna play my right left kick there. Then I'm gonna switch things up. My right hand's gonna come back to the snare and my left hand is now gonna to move to the hi-hat because I want a cheeky hi-hat in there. And I'm gonna go right, left kick with snare, hat kick. And then I'm gonna come back and my right hand's gonna to go to the floor tom and my left hand's gonna go back to being on the snare and I've got floor, snare, kick. And then I've got my stuff filled to end with. So, I'll take you through that one more time, nice and slowly. We've got snare, snare, kick. Tom, snare, kick. Snare, hat, kick. And floor, snare, kick. And stuff to end it. Nice and slowly, all together, that should sound like this. Nice and slowly with a groove. And of course, a little bit faster as well. It is a firm favorite of mine. I hope from watching this drum lesson today, you've got a good idea of how to play linear drum fills and how to bring the bass drum into your drum fills to make them sound more exciting to play. It's not an easy thing to do. We've covered a lot of ground today. You may well have to pause this video and come back at different moments, but that's absolutely fine. But what you should do is probably subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the lessons from uh, me in the future but also practice as much as possible and make sure things are even and that you feel comfortable when you're playing those drum fills. If you have got something from this lesson, please like the video and if you can subscribe, that would be incredible. I hope you've got this drum fill down. I hope you have fun with this drum fill. You have a great day. I will see you again soon. My name has been Will and you are beautiful. <laughs>